I'm going to focus on the commercial sector because I think given the avoided cost profile and what we know about avoided costs peaking in the evening, we're tending to focus quite a bit on the residential sector and believing that's where the opportunity is because if you paid attention to deer or if you use work papers, you are, you are led to believe that there's not an opportunity in the commercial sector because of these deemed averages. But in reality, there are thousands of customers in EBCE service territory on the commercial side that are evening peaking and that offer a great opportunity for load shifting and for cost effective savings that are not going to appear in a work paper. So let's pick the commercial sector and let's think through some characteristics that would help us identify customers that are evening peaking. So first of all, I'm, I want to look only at non-solar customers right now. We can bring solar customers in in a bit, but I'm only going to look at non-solar customers. Um, I'm really interested in electric right now, but we can get to gas if people are interested in looking at gas data. And really, you know, the summer time frame, as McGee talked about, is when there's an opportunity to drive very high avoided cost if you can get people to shift load or save load in the evening time period. It's actually mainly on the weekdays too, so I'm gonna select weekday. So this is just intuitive. This is where the avoided costs are. I'm just going after the avoided costs. And now I'm going to select a couple of features here that uh, are, are characteristic of helping us identify customers that have evening peaking load shapes. So I'm going to choose evening ramp, and this is the difference between evening usage and midday usage, basically. Uh, and I'm going to select customers that are in the top quartile among all EBCE commercial customers that are non-solar in their evening ramp. And then I'm also going to select customers that have um, a high percentage of their usage in the summer peak period. So we're talking June, July, August, September, 4 to 9 p.m. So I'll select customers that are in the top half of summer peak usage, and let's see what we see. This dashboard is literally going to crank through all of these hundreds of thousands of meters, and it's going to spit out at us the customers that we've selected, and it's going to show us a variety of information about this subset of customers. First of all, what you see here is the red dots are the average customer of the entire sort of eligible population that we've selected, so commercial non-solar customers under 250 megawatt hours a year, so sort of small, medium businesses. And the blue curve now is the customers that we've selected by this targeting scheme. Clearly, there, is, there are many thousands of evening peaking customers, and what you're seeing here is just, this is the first targeting feature, so this is evening ramp versus the second targeting feature, which is the percentage of summer peak usage. So we're really identifying customers who are using at least maybe on average 10% of their total annual consumption is during the summer peak. And we're also finding customers who have positive evening ramps, you know, above zero evening ramps. You know, many commercial customers are coming down in the evening, so they have negative evening ramps. By Finding these characteristics and by tying them together in a multi-dimensional targeting scheme, we're able to find for EBCE the subset of commercial customers that have a great opportunity potentially for load shifting or savings above and beyond what you might expect for a deer measure, especially when it comes to avoided cost. 